Hey, it's Chuck Armstrong with Loudwire Nights, and this is Loudwire Nights On Demand. We recently hung out with Barry Kirch, drummer for Shinedown. We covered a lot of ground from new music to hot sauce. This first aired on Tuesday, June 11th. Here you go. Well, I don't have to say much to convince you that uh, we are big fans of Shinedown here on Loudwire Nights, and we've been fortunate to welcome Brent Smith to the show many times over the years and see the guys on the road many times and celebrate their new music every chance we get. Uh, and tonight, we continue to do all of that. We continue to celebrate all things Shinedown, but in a little different way because we are celebrating hot sauce. That's right, man. And to help explain why we're celebrating hot sauce, I am so happy to welcome Shine Down drummer Barry Kirch to the show. Barry, thanks so much for hanging, man. Good to be here. And now you get to talk to the cool guy from the band. Finally, the man. You know I, mean? I know, man. Finally. <laughs> now, listen, before we get too deep into uh, the world of hot sauce, uh, I just got to ask you know, well, it's been almost two years since Shine Down released their latest album, Planet Zero. You guys toured all over last year, and your song, yeah. A Symptom of Being Human, uh, really has just taken radio by storm, not rock radio, but like you guys have crossed over into nearly every genre and format known Mm -hmm. to man. So I just got to ask, man, like, how are you feeling right now? It feels really good because it's been a long time since we've been able to do that. Last time we did that was with second chance back during the sound of madness time period. Um, it's nice. And it, I find it almost like a mission for the band to be able to do that because, you know, I don't, if you remember when we were younger, even top 40 radio would play music from all genres. It was just, if it's a good song, they're going to play it. It could go from Madonna into John Bon Jovi into whatever, you know? Yeah. And I think we've kind of lost that way when it comes to, to, to radio. And I, I like seeing and stirring up the pot a little bit going, Hey, you know, a rock band can be amongst the Doja cats and whatever else of the world. <laughs> yeah. It's a good song. It's a good song. So, you know, I'm very proud. And I'm also pinching myself that, you know, who would, you never know when you write a, record or write a song for that matter, how it's going to connect. And when something connects this much to so many people and creates new fans and, and people that maybe didn't know who shine out one are like, Oh, that's this band. Oh, that's those songs. Oh, that's who this is. And it creates those new fans. It's really nice. Well, and I got to say too, on the rock side, man, it, it's great because it's great to have a song like a symptom of being human in the midst of Metallica or, or other heavier shine down songs, you know, like dead don't die. Uh, and yeah. it, and it, it fits perfectly. I mean, it's totally different. It stands out, but it, it still somehow fits perfectly. Yeah. This band doesn't, you know, we just write songs and they happen to come together yeah. to a record. You know, it's, we don't just say, okay, it's only got to be rock songs. You know, it's just, Hey, what are we feeling at this moment in time? Let's write that. And hopefully because we're writing from a real place, people can connect to it. And I think that's kind of what makes shine down special is every record's completely different from the other one. And in, I think in a good way, personally, you know, a lot of people, you know, the, there's the old school fans. Why don't you make another leave a whisper? It's like, well, I was 25 at that time. It was a different time. And <laughs> yeah. we're different people now. I can't rewrite that record. That was the snapshot of that moment in time. It's just like Sound of Madness and just like Planet Zero. They're all snapshots of time. And whatever this next one is going to become that we're working on currently, it'll be what it is. And that's just how it is. Awesome, man. Well, I definitely want to talk a little bit more about that. But, you know, I, I do want to ask you, too, you know, talking about a symptom of being human. Um You know, Brent was on the show a few months ago and he really dove deep into that track with us. And whenever we play Mm -hmm. it, I always say, you know, it's, I think it's one of your heaviest songs, obviously not musically, but lyrically and thematically and emotionally and just the weight of it. It's such a heavy track. Uh, And even the way that you use percussion in the song, right? It's not a drum heavy song by any means, but what is in the song, and and it's great to see you doing this in the music video too, uh, it really just elevates it all to a new level as well. And so I'm, I'm curious, like for you as the, as the drummer, the guy who's, you know, normally like driving, driving songs, what was it like recording that track from your perspective? It, it's fun. You know, it's fun to record these tracks and, and something I've learned. And I think for drummers out there, any drummers listening, it comes with maturity on the instrument. You know, when you first start playing drums, you want to play as fast as possible and as many notes as possible. And it's the look at me, look at me, ah, look at that cool lick I played. And I think, the wiser you become in the instrument, the more you realize that it's not about you. You are the support and it's your job to play what's best for that song. And when you get to songs like symptom, where it is not a drum set, you know, it, it's percussion. It's like, be, it's like me being back in college and high school playing in the symphonic bands and stuff, you know? <laughs> so when yeah. we were doing the song, it's like, okay, let's set up the concert bass drum. Let's set up the concert snare drum. Let's actually use symphonic crash cymbals. That's fun. That's, that's the time in the studio where you get to just, okay, let's experiment. Let's come up with the right noises. Let's come up with the right parts. And, you know, yeah, it's simple, but it makes, it's that last moment of the song and it just lifts it to that next thing and supports what is most important, the vocals and the melody, the lyrics and the melody. That's my job is to support 
that as a drummer. I love hearing that, man. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I didn't think about that, but you know, I, I didn't play drums in 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 school band, but uh, I wanted to because I wanted to just yeah play as heavy as I could on, behind a drum kit. But then you realize, like, no, yeah. no, no, it's there's steps that you have to take to get to that point. Exactly, and we're all as drummers, we're all guilty of it. I think we're all kind of hardwired to be a little obnoxious behind the kit and a little more. <laughs> uh, you got some aggression that you want to get out, and you have to you have to tame that inner child a little bit and go, no, it's about the song. It's not about you. Yeah. Well, listen, talking about symptom of being human, you know, it just so happens to be the namesake of this uh, brand new hot sauce from Shine Down. The sauce is called Symptom, obviously taken after the song. Uh, and I gotta say, man it's delicious. Uh, thank you. And so you just got to tell me all about this. Cause how in the world did shine down, get into, <laughs> get into the hot sauce game, man. It's not exactly the classic, right. you know, rock and roll tale. Uh, yeah, it's not, it's not a bottle of whiskey, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it, it happened rather organically. I've been a hot sauce nerd my whole life. I, I love hot sauce. Half my fridge is stacked full of hot sauces. I make my own, I grow my own peppers. So that's been a labor of love for me. Torchbearer, which is the company we collaborated with, they make wonderful hot sauces, but they came to the label and they were saying, hey, we would love to collab with one of your artists if anybody's interested. And they came to Shinedown and I said, yeah, I'm your guy. <laughs> I want to do this. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. And so Vid over at Torchbearer, he's like, really? I said, yeah. And he said, well, let's talk about it. So we would send emails back and forth about the types of hot sauces I'm into, the stuff they're into. And we just started going back and forth. And this was a labor of love that took about six months to really put together and get off the street on the streets. Um, and you know, he would send me samples and these big bottles and you know, version one, two, three of this version five, six, seven. Oh, no, let's try this with there. Without this, you know? Um, and we finally settled on three that we really liked. This is the first of the three. And the reason symptom was such a good name for it is it's, I wanted to introduce out of the gate a hot sauce that wasn't too hot. It's for everybody. You know, it's a hot sauce that yes, it, it has a little heat on the back end, but it's not going to rip your head off. It's not ghost pepper, yeah. devil spit, whatever. It's, you know, <laughs> a hot sauce you can put on just about anything and you're going to enjoy it and you're not going to feel it <laughs> the next day. You know what I'm saying? Yep, so yep, yep. It, it was fun to do. And, <laughs> and, you know, it reaches that that thing of, you know, symptom of being human is for everyone. So I'm very proud of it. And then we have another one coming out uh, midsummer and another one early fall so that we have a nice little trio. And they're all very different of each other. Uh, from each other, which is what I like. And it does, you know, a couple of the other ones get a little bit hotter. I was going to um, ask if, it, if they progressively get uh, maybe a little spicier. Not necessarily progressively. Uh, you know, that wasn't the idea of like, okay, here's your mild, medium, hot. Okay. But yeah. the other two have a little bit more heat than cool. this one. I love that, man. Yeah, you've created a, uh, a crossover hit with the song and, and hopefully a crossover with the hot sauce too. Yeah. Now I'm slinging hot sauces, which is kind of a dream come true because I love hot sauce so much. <laughs> Finally, man, you know, finally, yeah, finally, somebody realizes that I have interest outside of drums. <laughs> so, you know, I, I love this sauce because I mean, just like you say, it, it's got a nice spice to it, but it, it isn't hot and it really yeah. seems to be focused on the flavor. And I, I like you, man, I, I love hot sauces. Uh, I always love trying new ones. And for me, I typically try to get something that like, like a, a food that I'm familiar with, like eggs or, or bread, right? Like it's something that doesn't have a yeah. crazy flavor that, that brings out the flavor of the hot sauce. And, sure. uh, so, you know, I started putting this on eggs and pizza crust, that kind of thing. And now I'm just, I'm dousing everything I eat in, in this, Good. uh, but I'm did curious, our job, that's what I wanted for. I'm curious, man, like, like hearing you talk about you being a nerd and also, you know, growing your own peppers and stuff. Um, how involved were you besides just like tasting things? Like, were you hands on in the recipe of this or, or are some of your peppers in this sauce, anything like that? I wish it was that way, but you know, you have to have a large amount of peppers than the, just the ones I, I, I grow at the house, you know, I have a very small <laughs> garden, Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, I, there was never a no, nothing was off the table. You know, when I would go with vid and go, you know, I could use a little more garlic or maybe some more vinegar or something like that. He would adjust and then send me, you know, those things back and forth. And then he also, you know, torchbearer kind of their signature, signature thing is a, a thicker sauce that kind of spreads across the tongue. You know, it's a, what is the, their phrase is uh, unintentionally healthy and, and intentionally delicious or something like that. Is that it yeah. says on the side of the bottle there. Um, that that's true. You know, they want to use the best ingredients. They don't want to use any GMO stuff. They want to really make a quality hot sauce. And that was kind of neat to see. It's not just, you know, not to, to bag on some, you know, like your standard Tabasco or something, but it's a very simple hot sauce. Tabasco is simple. It's aged cayenne peppers, water, vinegar, salt. That's it. 
this has a bit, a little bit more to it, you know? Um, yeah. and, and that was fun. And I was able to really, uh, my opinion was heard, which was nice. We went back and forth and it was really cool. So as this came up, you know, I, I imagine you guys get presented with partnerships or collaborations a lot. Were the other guys supportive too, or was it just like, you know what, Barry raises hand, let him run with this. A little bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, They're yeah. always supportive and they know, you know, they know what, how crazy I am about hot sauce, you know, even on the, <laughs> the, the rider, you know, the backstage rider, it, one of the requirements is a local hot sauce. So every oh, day I, I love get a different that, hot sauce. <laughs> you know, just because I'm really into it. So they knew and they're like, yes, this is a pet project for you. And they've been very supportive, but none of them are big hot sauce guys. Like Brent doesn't like spicy at all because it messes with his vocal cords. Um, Zach likes a good medium and Eric's, Eric just eats to say it live. You know, he's not, he's not, <laughs> he, he'll go out and have a nice meal, but you know, for him, if you give him a, a steak and a potato, he's fine. He's just, yeah. okay. I fed myself. Let me get back to my, my creative side. <laughs> so, um, they like it and they did all try it and, and enjoyed it, but it was even a little much for Brent cause he's just not a spicy yeah. guy. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I love hearing that man. Uh, I, I have to imagine though, this probably gets you guys excited about other out of the box ideas for the band yeah I, you know we're always open to those ideas the one thing we always want to do though is it's got to be real it's got to be something we're into we're not going to brand oh look shine down branded uh, cabinet doors why you know? yeah <laughs> unless yeah, they're yeah. Unless a cabinet Unless, company out there wants to put them in my house. Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> right, right. Um, right yeah. I, I could use some new kitchen cabinets. <laughs> uh, but no, we're not going to do that just in a selfish way. It's got to be something that really reflects who we are and, and, and something we're into. Awesome, man. Well, very excited to, to uh, taste even more of the sauce from Shinedown. Uh, beyond the hot sauce and the new flavors that are coming, what's uh, what, what else is on the horizon? I know you guys have a little bit of a live schedule this year. Uh, nothing like la nothing like last year. And uh, July marks the two year anniversary of Planet Zero. You already hinted at working on the follow up. What's uh, what's on the horizon? Yeah, now? yeah. So we have a smattering of shows this year, some festivals and and some one offs, just to you know keep the lights on and keep us from not being too rusty. And we like to play. Um, yeah, yeah. And then you know we'll be kicking it hard again next year because we are currently working on whatever that next record is going to be. I literally was just in Charleston last week at at the studio. We we recorded Planet Zero, Eric's studio, uh, recording drums for, I think we did six songs or something like that. So oh, wow. we're, we're way into the thick of it. Um, I think there'll be new Shinedown music earlier than we thought, maybe end of the year, definitely beginning of next year, there'll be some new stuff coming out. Um, because of the momentum of Symptom, we didn't want to go away too long, you know, and, and we want to capture those fans that maybe came from the top 40 side that still haven't seen us live because they didn't know anything about us, right? So we want to be able to come back and, and do something, but we want, we, we're not going to rush it. So it's when it happens, it happens. Um, but we're definitely in the thick of it, which of the creative process. You know, I was, I was in the studio again, doing weird percussion stuff when it was fun. Awesome, man. <laughs> I love, I love hearing that. Uh, and then, so yeah, plenty of live shows coming in, in 2025, no doubt. Guaranteed. Awesome. Barry Courage, man. Thank you so much for hanging and talking all things shine down and all things hot sauce, man. Obviously fans can stay up to date with everything going on in your world, including hot sauce at shinedown.com and we keep everybody yes. posted on on this new music that w whenever it comes yes. in I'll be ready for it and yeah. all your tour dates too yeah. at uh, at loudwire.com man we love yeah, shinedown on like this show support. really oh, you absolutely. guys you been very supportive and it does not go unnoticed thank you yeah for sure man and listen I it's easy you know like shinedown you guys have been doing this for a long time and uh, and just like you said about not writing another leave, leave a whisper like you guys are progressing and you evolve and you mature and, and you stay true to who Shinedown has always been, but the sound, you know, is different and the songs are different. The lyrics are different. And that's what I want as a fan. Cause yeah, I'm not the same guy that I was when I first listened to Shinedown. And so, uh, it's, uh, you, you guys make it easy to support you cause you're just one of us, you know, you're one of the rock fans out there doing what you do. So that's I love it. hundred percent. Thank you. Well, uh, man, you are uh, welcome back anytime. And if Brent wants to come too, that's fine. But listen, we'll we'll just keep you in mind. I have time with that guy. I, I think I'm married to him more than I'm married to my own wife. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we can hang again soon, brother. Great to see you. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. That wraps up this episode of Loudwire Nights On Demand. Stay caught up with everything happening in the world of rock and metal on the Loudwire app and at loudwire.com.